Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for being here and Happy New Year. Today we're going to be making a card using the Heart Beats For You stamp set along with the matching dies, which I do not use in the end of this video. We're going to be using some paper from the Funfetti birthday pack here. We're also going to be using the square, the square spotlight stencils uh, for this card. We're going to be making a cute little 4x4 four four card today. And we're going to be using a 4x4 four four, uh, card base. We're going to use some squeezed lemon distressed oxides. And I believe the other one was uh, picked raspberries. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this square placed down onto the cardstock. And to make sure I want this to be as even as possible, I'm going to take my T ruler here. And what I'm going to do is draw a line really lightly from one corner to the next corner. And then I'm going to do the same thing diagonally uh, from this corner to the next corner. And my idea here was to match this up so that when I put the square on, each corner of the square will fit or it will touch uh, the pencil. And that's how I would know it was pretty much directly in the middle of this card. So I have that down. I did put some um, removal adhesive behind the square here so it will come off. And now I'm just going to erase the lines here because I'm going to be doing some ink blending and I do not want to ink blend over those lines because if I do, then I won't be able to take them off later. So I want to go ahead and remove those from the paper. And uh, your best bet is to use at least a white eraser if you have one here. Don't use one that's pink, green, or whatever color because it comes off on the paper. So we're going to use some squeezed lemonade and we are going to go all the way around uh, this frame here. And I'm not doing anything too crazy because I'm going to be blending another color on top of this to form a new color. So, it, you know, this doesn't have to be like fully set in. It doesn't have to be super heavy. It's get it on the paper. And when you get it on the paper, it's time to move on. I am just blending in a little bit of white spots here just to make sure that it's kind of evenly blended. Next, we're going to be, oh, it's worn lipstick, you guys. Sorry. Next, we're going to be using worn lipstick, and we are going to actually place this on top of the yellow to form a peach color because I want the peach color to be the color of the paper we're going to be using as well. And you're going to find out here in a few minutes why. So anyway, I'm going to dip this in a few times, and then I'm going to go ahead and get this blended in. This time, because you want it to be peach, you may have to put a different uh, couple coats or, you know, Blend a few times over the yellow just to make sure to get the color peach that you want. And you'll see me here going back and forth a little bit, just making sure that I have enough. I do even out the darker spots on this card because I did have a little um, oopsie there, but you know what? It's handmade. That's what happens. So I zoomed in a little too much on this, you guys, so you won't be able to see it. But what I'm going to do is take some honeybee stamps in intense black ink here, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp out this peach. And the reason I wanted it to be uh, a close color to the frame is because we are going to be doing some uh, paper piecing here. So basically, I fussy cut the peach out. And then to do the leaves, I'm just grabbing a green piece of paper from my stash, and we're going to go ahead and stamp uh, the peach out again. And then we're gonna cut out uh, the leaves. Now I did cut out the stem from this because I didn't wanna have to use my time to uh, cut out a brown piece for the stem. I guess I could have left it green, but nah, it's okay. So I have that fussy cut out and then here you're gonna see when I put it together, it's gonna be our cute little peach using the paper and the cute little green, it looks so cute. And total, you guys, total to make this card was 17 minutes even. That was like with me cleaning up between everything. So, you know, it's a pretty quick card. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put the sentiment on. It says you're a peach. And we're going to use the same black ink here uh, to go ahead and get this stamped out. Now, I was trying to go back and forth. Should I use green? Should I use peach? What should I do? So down in the comment, you guys, let me know what color you think I should have done. So I decided to go with black, and now we're gonna put some foam tape on the back of this peach. And so that we can get that placed onto the card, we're gonna place it there in the center. 
maybe if I can get up. I'm trying to do this in real time, kind of. I did slice it up, but here we go. So I got the peach there. I put it at a slant because I thought it was super cute. And there we have it. And I thought it was done. I picked it up. I'm like, mm, no, it's not. I need to put a little bit of jewels on this. So I'm going to go ahead and put some rhinestones on this. Uh, Honeybee Stamps has tons of gem stickers, but I couldn't find one that was close to the color I needed. So I just pulled some from my stash. And then the card's going to be complete, you guys. I'm going to glue these things down and it'll be done. A 17 minute card. Amazing. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and also thank you so much for supporting Honeybee Stamps. We truly appreciate it. They have a great release that just came out last week, uh, two weeks ago, that you guys should go check out. Um, what I'm using today is not part of that release, uh, but, uh, you know, go check it out anyway. Uh, the products that I use today will be listed in the description. Make sure you go check out Honeybee Stamps at all the social media outlets. You can check me out by searching for Bromero Cards on Instagram and YouTube. And then here I am just finishing up the touches here. I'm using some Honeybee uh, Stamps glue here, precision glue, to go ahead and get these little gems down. Um, my big old man hands can't do it, so I have to use my little tweezers here. So thank you guys very much. You guys have a great week. I hope your new year is great, and I will talk with you later. Bye.